Ladies and gentlemen, and Elden Ring enjoyers, happy patch day. They changed a lot of stuff here. If you want to go over the patch notes, um, I was up at 5.30 this morning watching all the big funny streamers hit, them, hit each other with funny weapons and and see, tell, say what's different, what's going on, you know what I mean? Like, I, and I learned nothing. There was, there was nothing that I was like, okay, so I need to do this and I need to bring this and I need to do this. Uh, nah, there's just no way. You, you just gotta, you gotta do what you're gonna do. You, you gotta invade, if you're an invader, invade, if you're a duelist, duel. It, you just gotta feel it out again. We're, we're at that, we're at that case again. You know, we're, it's, it's like when they change the poise values, I think in like 1.05, 1.06 possibly. It's, it's all different. Uh, whether the changes are good or bad, I'm, I, I, I can't quite put a, I can't quite say, you know, the patch has hardly been live for 24 hours. Uh, and plus I'm, I'm not even close to qualified, um, to say whether the game saved or, you know, what was good about the patch, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to go out. I'm going to make cool builds. I'm going to try out my favorite weapons. Um. Uh, I knew Ordovis, Ordovis, uh, sorry if I say that wrong, uh, I knew this Ash of War had crazy hyper armor. Um, I have 63 poise on this character. Uh, my, my favorite fashion, the Banished Knighthood and the Blythe's chest piece. Um, you know, because we're back, apparently. Uh, a lot of people saying fashion souls are back, or you have to run a certain poise number. I hardly... I, I've stopped caring about poise numbers when I kind of stopped invading at meta level, uh, just because it was kind of more fun to look, look cool. Um, really, I mean, there's there's quite a bit you got to change about your play style, you know, depending on, on how you played and, and what you played with. Um, you just got to go out there and play for yourself. There's there's not much you're going to do, uh, not much you're going to learn watching two guys stationary hit each other with weapons. You know, and I learned that this morning. I'm like, I, I just got to go out and invade. And when I invaded in the morning, I did very, very poorly. Very poorly. Um, but then when I kind of got my, my grip, uh, I came home from work, opened up the game again. Um, I actually had quite a few good invasions, these ones here you're seeing, as long as well as a few, you know, pretty crazy uh, groups, you know, obviously you're going to run into those. Um, but overall, I had a pretty decent experience. I didn't, I didn't invade very long um, because, you know, I was pretty tired. Um, but there's definitely going to be more more builds that I'll have to see what'll work. I'd like to try my lightning build out again, see how the lightning incantations work. Um, my mage build, see how the mage build goes. I know Slicer doesn't doesn't poise break in one. Uh, probably depending on whatever poise you have. Uh, what that poise is, I don't know. Will I figure out? Maybe. Um, spin Slash, having a possible three hit true combo pretty interesting um this halberd's actually super fun to use also eating the silver uh pickled foul foot to uh replicate the quiet resolve emo from dark souls 3 there's there's a lot here that i tested um in these invasions and there were some pretty cool uh bonfire duelists I had fights with, um, as well as I think I had like two or three Taunter's Tongue uh, invasions, one that I think makes it into this video here. Um, hey, people are excited. You know, even this morning when I was on Twitch, you know, watching people test out the notes, look at the patch notes, you know, people were excited that there was a patch, but you know, mixed emotions on how to feel about it. Uh, you know. But I guess I, I wasn't. I, I still, I still, still am, am uh, lost on what to feel about the patch. You know, I just have a lot more, a lot more baiting to do, a lot more characters to try out. You know, this really could change a lot of things. Um, 
and it's exciting to see that route. I mean, I think Elden Ring needed a change like this. There were a lot of people just kind of sick and tired of... Some, I guess I'm not sure. Some people were sick and tired of, of the same old, same old evasions, and I think this is this is something new. Uh, whether it's a good or a bad thing, I guess you know you got to decide for yourself. I mean, there's there's not a lot of invasion games, you know, that can scratch that invader itch. So I mean, you're, we're we're just rooting for DLC at some point, and I know everyone's everyone's shouting that te uh, testament to the rooftops. But, hey, we're all in the same boat. This is uh, one of my longer videos. Um, really, I'm, I'm just showcasing some of my favorite incantations and weapons. Um, Ashes of War, Eruption. You know, that's... Honestly, if you can think of a good hyper armor, Ash of War... Um, Honestly, just go out and use it in whatever you do, you know. Whatever your, uh, whatever your niche is in the PvP scene. You know, just go out there. Pick your favorite weapons, favorite ashes. You know, favorite armor now. I mean, honestly, you know, it's, it's a pretty wild, it's a pretty wild scene out there. Uh, you know, just go out there, look good, feel good, play good. Have a lot of fun doing it. And look at this magma head. I really ain't got much more else to say. You know, there's a couple more invasions here. Um, I appreciate y'all sticking around, watching the video. I hope the patch finds you well. I hope you ha find success in this crazy-ass game that's just completely changed. Um, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.